Welcome to Professor's Garage. I have a 3.5 liter Honda engine with VCM or variable cylinder management. VCM reduces engine consumption of gasoline and improves fuel economy, which is good news, especially with the high price of gasoline today. The bad news is the engine consumes oil because of VCM. Every 1,500 miles, it burns about a quart of oil. That's two-thirds of a quart every 1,000 miles. I have to add two quarts of oil between oil changes, or the oil level will be very low, and the engine will have a huge problem. So what exactly is VCM, and what is causing the problem? According to Honda, VCM shuts off some of the cylinders during cruising to reduce gasoline consumption. This introduces imbalances in the engine, leading to increased noise and wear of engine mounts. It also creates vacuums and enables the oil to get into the combustion chamber, leading to oil burning or consumption. If you do not monitor the problem, the oil level can go very low, causing catastrophic problems to the engine. Burned oil in the exhaust is also bad news for the CAT converter and it can become very expensive to repair or replace the engine or the CAT converter. Because of these reasons, I decided to disable the VCM to reduce oil consumption even at the cost of fuel economy. This turns out to be an easy task. The Honda engine only turns on the VCM when the coolant temperature reaches an optimal level. By adding a resistor uh, to one of the coolant sensors, we can fool the engine to believe that it has never reached that temperature level to turn on VCM. This is the sensor that we are going to deal with to muzzle the VCM. I'll put the link in the description to the VCM muzzler depressor I purchased. With the engine off, find the coolant temperature sensor, depress the tap, and remove it. Connect one side of the muzzler to the cooling sensor on the engine and make sure it clicks. And chain the other side to the original connector. Make sure it clicks again. Secure the cable with a zip tie. Adjust the dip switches. Start with the lowest resistance, in this case 82 ohm. Test the car and check two things. First, the check engine light should not appear. If it does, clear the code with the scanner. If the eco mode is turned on in any driving conditions, increase your ohm setting. Here in Pennsylvania, USA, I started with 82 ohm in the winter and increased it to 92 in the spring summer. It has been six months and thousands of miles. The VCM has never been turned on and I no longer see the eco mode again. As for oil consumption, after 3,000 miles, I lost about two-thirds of a quart, which is less than a quarter of a quart every thousand miles. Now I do not even have to add oil between oil changes. That's great news. I did not monitor the fuel efficiency, but I know I will have to suffer in that because of this modification. Just like you, I have no pleasure in visiting the gas station today. There is no perfect solution. To burn or not to burn. Between fuel economy and oil consumption, it is a difficult decision we have to make in this difficult time. I hope this video is helpful and informative. If a professor can do it, you can do it. Until the next time, may the Lord bless you and give you peace. Ping an.